I climbed the ladder up to the roof hatch and popped it. The armor's boots have magnetized climbing clamps, and I use them to cross over the curving roofs in the third habitat and then around to the second, coming up on them from behind. Even these two rogues wouldn't be dumb enough to ignore the creeks if I took the quick route and walked over to their position. They were not the sharpest murder bots, having cleaned the floor of the between habitat corridor to cover the prints they had left when staging that body. It would have fooled somebody who hadn't noticed all the other floors were covered with tracked in dust. I opened the roof access for the second habitat and sent my drones ahead down into the security ready room. Once they checked the unicubicles and made sure nobody was home, I dropped down the ladder. A lot of their equipment was still there, including their drones. There was a nice box of new ones, but they were useless without the Deltfall hub system. Either it was really dead or doing a good imitation of it. I still kept part of my attention on it. If it came up suddenly and reactivated the security cameras, the rules of the game would change abruptly. Keeping my drones with me, I took the inner corridor and moved silently past Medical's blasted hatch. Three bodies were piled inside where the humans had tried to secure it and been trapped when their own sec units blew it open to slaughter them. When I was close to the corridor with the hatch where both units were waiting for me and Dr. Mensa to come wandering in, I sent the drones around for a careful look. Oh yeah, there they were. With no weapons on my drones, the only way to do this was to move fast. So I threw myself around the last corner, hit the opposite wall, crossed back, and kept going, firing at their positions. I hit the first one with three explosive bolts in the back and one in the faceplate as it turned toward me. It dropped. The other one I nicked in the arm, taking out the joint, and it made the mistake of switching its main weapon to its other hand, which gave me a couple of seconds. I switched to rapid fire to keep it off balance, then back to the explosive bolt. That dropped it. I hit the floor, needing a minute to recover. I had taken at least a dozen hits from both of their energy weapons while I was taking out the first one, but the explosive bolts had missed me, going past to tear up the corridor. Even with the armor, bits of me were going numb, but I had only taken three projectiles to the right shoulder, four to the left hip. This is how we fight. Throw ourselves at each other and see whose parts give out first. Neither unit was dead but they were incapable of reaching their cubicles in the ready room, and I sure as hell wasn't going to give them a hand. Three of my drones were down, too. They had gone into combat mode and slammed in ahead of me to draw fire. One had gotten hit by a stray energy burst and was wandering around in the corridor behind me. I checked my two perimeter drones by habit and opened my comm to Dr. Mensa to tell her I still needed to clear the rest of the habitat and do the formal check for survivors. The drone behind me went out. I think I realized immediately what that meant, but there may have been a half second or so of delay. But I was on my feet when something hit me so hard, I was suddenly on my back on the floor, systems failing. 